Hey guys, in this video, let's talk about dictionaries in Python. A dictionary is a data type in Python which can consist of multiple values. Each value stored in a dictionary will have a key associated to it. A key in a dictionary is not similar to indexes in a list because an index in a list will always start from zero and will always be an integer. Whereas a key in a dictionary can be an integer and it can also be a floating point number or a string or a boolean value etc. Let's look at some examples of how to create a dictionary in Python. So let's say if you want to create a dictionary to store the details of your laptop, you would have to do something like this. So I created a variable by the name laptop and then I created a dictionary. In order to create a dictionary, you need to place the values of the dictionary within the curly braces or flower bracket and then each item within your dictionary needs to be separated by a comma. So each item will consist of a key as well as a value. So this together is called as a key value pair. So your brand is a key and apple is my value. So the second item is this one where model is my key and MacBook Pro is my value. And the third item in this dictionary is this one. Here size is the key and 13 is the value. If you want to access the values of your dictionary, we could just do it like print of laptop. And if I execute this program, you can see that it's printing all the values of my dictionary laptop. But let's say if I wanted to print the value of a particular item from the dictionary, then I could just mention like laptop, open the square bracket and mention the key name. So let's say if I mention the key name as brand, and if I execute this, you can see that it's printing Apple, meaning that it's basically printing the value of my key brand. So this is almost similar to how you would access a value from a list. Now, let's say if you wanted to modify the value of a particular item from your dictionary, you could simply do that by saying laptop of mention the key name. So let's say if I mention size and I want to change this size from 13 to 16. And if I just execute this and let me just print uh, maybe the whole dictionary here. If I execute this, we can see that the value of the item size has now changed from 13 to 16. But let's say if you wanted to modify multiple values uh, within your dictionary, then you could use a method called as update. That is by just typing laptop.update and then inside the parentheses, we just mention a dictionary. So in this dictionary, you can mention any number of items you want. So let's say if I just copy these two and I paste it here and I change the model from MacBook Pro to MacBook Air and I change the size from 13 to 17 and then I add another item. So let's say I add color and I mention the value to color like space gray. If I execute this program now, you can see that there is a new item added to my dictionary that is color which has a value as space gray and also the value of my item size has been changed from 13 to 17. Also my model has changed from MacBook Pro to MacBook Air. So this is how we can use update to modify the values of existing items in your dictionary. But then the important thing to note is that in case if you mention a item which does not exist in your dictionary, then that item will get added into your dictionary. Okay. Let's say if you wanted to delete a particular item from your dictionary, you could just do that by using the command del, which stands for delete and then mentioning the dictionary name and then mentioning the key that you want to delete. So in this case, let's say if I wanted to delete the key size and you just mention it like this. If I execute this program, you could see that my dictionary now only has two items, brand and model. The item size has been removed by using the del uh, command. There's also another way how you can delete an item from dictionary and that is by using the method pop. So how you can do that is by just mentioning laptop.pop and then mentioning the key that you want to delete. So in this case, let's say if I mention size and let me comment out this. And if I execute this, you can see that the output is the same, meaning that even 
by using pop i am able to remove an item from my dictionary the difference between pop and del is that when you use pop it will always return the value of the key that has been deleted so let's say if i want to capture the return value i can just assign the return value into a variable so let's say i assign that value into my variable a and then let me print it let's save it and execute this program we can see that it's printing a equal to 13 because the pop method not only deleted the item size but it also returned the value of the deleted item in this case the deleted item value is 13 now let's say if you wanted to count the number of items in your dictionary we can just use the function called as len which we have used with list as well so if i just mention len of my dictionary it is going to print the total number of items in my dictionary which in this case is 3 dictionaries can also be used in our for loop how we can do that is so let's say if i write for i in laptop dot keys colon and then i just print i so what this program is doing is it's fetching all the keys from my dictionary laptop and then it's passing to my iterator i and that is what is getting printed here so keys is a method which can be used with any dictionaries to extract only the keys from that dictionary so now if i execute this program you can see that only the keys that is brand model and size are being displayed in this program but let's say if you want to extract only the values from your dictionary then you can use a method called as values if i execute this program you can see that it's printing apple macbook pro and 13 because those are the values present in my dictionary but let's say if you want to extract both the keys as well as values from your dictionary then we have a method called as items so your items method will extract both the key as well as the value from your dictionary so in this case i'll need to use another iterator here so let's say i comma j and then i'm going to print both of them here so now if i execute this we can see that key as well as the value from my dictionary are being printed here so this is how we can use items keys values methods of a dictionary in a for loop now there are a few other methods as well which we can use with dictionary so for example let's say if i wanted to extract the value of a particular item from my dictionary that i would do that by saying laptop and then pass the key name so in this case let's say brand if i execute this you can see that it's printing apple because i have a key brand and the value of that key is getting printed from this statement but let's say if i pass a key that does not exist in this dictionary so let's say if i pass color and if i execute this we can see that it's throwing an error it's giving a key error saying that this key does not exist so if you want to avoid such errors then instead of extracting a particular value by this particular way you should use a method called as get so get is a method to extract the value of a particular key so you just mention the key that you want to extract so let's say if i mention brand and if i execute this program now you can see that it's extracting the value of brand that is apple and if i mention a key that does not exist so let's say if i mention color and if i execute this you can see that it's not throwing an error but it's returning a none value none value it's kind of saying that this key does not exist but it's not throwing an error in this case we can also pass a default value here uh, something that will get returned in case the key does not exist so i'll say uh, key not found okay so if i execute this program now you can see that it's printing key not found because it did not find the key color and hence it printed this default message that we passed here so this is how we can use get method in dictionary to retrieve the value of a particular uh, key there's another interesting method that we can use with dictionaries which is called as set default so let's say if i do laptop dot set default and then pass a value like let's say color and then pass the value to this uh, key let's say silver and then let me print it print laptop 
if I execute this program, we can see that what this set default method did is it basically added a new item into my dictionary with the key color and the value silver. I could also do the same thing by just mentioning like laptop of color equal to silver. Even this one would also be fine. So if I execute this, it would perform the same task. You can see the output is the same. The advantage of using set default method is that if you mention a key that already exists in your dictionary, then the value of that key won't get updated. For example, if I mention brand, because brand is already present in my dictionary, and if I execute this program, you can see that the value of brand is not getting updated because set default will look for the key that has been provided. If the key already exists, then it does not update the value of that key, but it will just return the value of that existing key. And if the key does not exist, only then it will add this key as a new item into your dictionary. So if I want to capture the return value of this method, I can just assign it to a variable, let's say yay, and then I print yay. And if I execute this, you can see that it's returning apple because the key brand already exists in my dictionary. Hence, the value of that key is getting returned into this variable yay. And that is what is getting printed here. Finally, I would like to tell about a module which can be used to uh, display the values or the items in your dictionary in a more beautiful manner. And that module is called as pprint. So let's say you have a dictionary like this employee, which is basically a nested dictionary where you have a dictionary within a dictionary. In this case, if I just try to print my employee or this dictionary, you can see what happens is it's going to print fine, no problem, but it's all printed one after the other. So it's not very easy to read and it, it will be a difficult task to read and understand this dictionary. To overcome this, there is a module called as pprint. So if I just import that module, let's say import pprint and then instead of using print, if I just use pprint dot pprint and if I execute this program, you can see that the same output is being displayed, but now the value is being displayed in a more cleaner way. So each uh, item is being displayed separately in its own line. So this will be a much cleaner way to read a dictionary rather than just using print. I hope all of this was useful and I hope you got some understanding about dictionary. Uh, if you like this video, please make sure to like and subscribe. Thank you.